Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. This is a series that premieres every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. There is a live chat. I'm always there. It's like a virtual cafe and we're all chatting makeup and life, whatever. So yeah, if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling low, you just want to chat makeup or you just want to chat then Karma Chameleon is the place to be. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to prime my eyes with the ABHI primer. I did already do my brows. I used the Revolution Brow Sculpt Kit. I have it in dark brown. I really love this. As you can probably tell, um, yeah, I've hit pan, which, uh, hmm, interesting. So let's pop a bit of this on. Um, you may have noticed that this week again was no new releases and sneak peeks. Um, I have been having a really hard time of it with the pain. And so I've been prioritizing videos where it's actually trying makeup, doing makeup. Um, yeah, because as much as it's nice to chat about new releases, it's also nice to use what you have. Um, I don't know, I just think it's more important. I think you support brands more when you're seen using the products than just talking about the releases. Well, that's how I feel anyway. Um, I will get back to it as soon as my pain levels are just more manageable, really. Um, so yeah, there is that. <laughs> so yeah, it has been a really, really tough week with the pain. I'm not going to lie. Um, last night was so bad that I nearly called for an ambulance. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they're gonna be on first name terms with me <laughs> before too long, but never mind. They're really good. They've been really like the the woman that came out was amazing um, last week because I am needle phobic and well, I don't know if you call it. I'm terrified of hospitals, um, ambulances any medical like paramedic doctors nurses i'm i'm terrified and so i am not the easiest patient but she treated me like i was she was just wonderful um which doesn't often happen unfortunately i usually get the you know get on with it face your fears and you know, you should be over that by now. Nothing to be scared of. It doesn't hurt. Which, uh, I have a high pain threshold. Pain isn't my worry or my concern or what it is that I'm scared of. But yeah. So anyways, I didn't have to in the end. Um, the painkillers kicked in enough that I could kind of manage the pain-ish. Uh, definitely going to be having a chat with my doctor on Friday um, just to see if there's another direction we can go in pain med wise All right. I'm still trying out this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper the Bernie Bernie stuff I'm getting used to the burn it's not so bad now but um I don't know if it's doing anything so if you can see the difference let me know um I'm not seeing it right let's pop you back there okay so I really wanted to play with the wilderness palette again from Beauty Bay I just fell in love with this so much and I've only played with it the once I believe so yeah digging it out again and Hmm, what do I want to go in with? I hadn't actually thought that far ahead. But 
I'm now thinking I maybe I should have done. I'm going to go in with a bigger brush. Right. Hmm. Am I? Yes. So <laughs> I'm going to go in with Leaf. And I'm just going to, oh, for my eye primer, I'm going to try and remember to say the brushes. For the eye primer, I used, I went in with, I used a Spectrum A08. I just like these kind of fluffier brushes for applying um, primer. And just make sure I've got no crease in before I start putting shadows on. Right, so yes, I'm going to go in with a Spectrum B06. And I am going in, I've already said, haven't I? Going in with Leaf. It is one of those days. Um, I'm filming this earlier than I usually would in the week. I'm actually filming more midweek. Um, just because I can't guarantee there's going to be another time that I'm going to be able to film like a longer video. I'm just doing what I can when I can because the pain has been so severe I literally I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do anything I can't physically do anything when it's that bad so yeah fun times but we're, we're not too bad at the moment so provided touch wood it doesn't suddenly get really bad I am sticking with it today. I think everything takes me longer as well at the moment because on the medications, I'm not sure which one, but one of them gives me an incredibly dry mouth so I'm forever having to stop to drink water. But I guess that's one kind of good thing that has come from all of this is I drink a lot of water now and I never used to drink any at all. And I hadn't actually thought about it that much recently. In the beginning, I thought it was just, like strange, <laughs> me drinking water. But I watched um, Steph's video, Steph's Beauty Stash. I love her. If you don't know who she is, you're mad. Go check her out. I'll link her channel in the description box below. I was watching her video actually this morning. And she was talking about water because she drinks like a gallon of water a day which I have no idea how much water I drink a day I do I know I drink a lot because of my dry mouth but yeah I do drink a lot of water now I find that um so I used to drink Pepsi Max but I find now that that doesn't really get rid of my thirst in the same way as water does which is just bizarre and I think, how did I manage? Like, how how did I not feel constantly thirsty when I was drinking Pepsi Max? But yeah. So yes, that that's that. But yeah, I, I love water now. I go through so much. I don't like tap water. Um, in the area I live, it's like really chalky and horrible so i won't drink that but yeah i i drink a lot of bottled water i'm really enjoying this shade i don't know why i'm being so careful i haven't done my base yet <laughs> i'm still not quite confident enough to do my brows on camera because although I have grown kind of a couple of lines of hair so you can kind of see there's eyebrows there but you know, not much um, and you'd have to be pretty close up I think to actually see the hairs but yeah there are some some have grown back I don't know how how much will how much it will continue who knows right i now want a smaller brush should we go with you <laughs> poppy's in the background if you can't see her that those groaning noises are poppy 
she's old and I think she is milking that <laughs> right what am I doing I don't actually know what am I doing I am do I want a fluffier brush yeah I think I do want a fluffier brush than that Steph come on get it together I'll go with you right I am next going into eucalyptus I am going for a pretty green look today because the green is my happy place and uh, oh and I'm using a made by Mitchell ME1 I do really really love these brushes from made by Mitchell they're so good I'm just gonna put that through my crease so how has your week been guys have you been up to anything exciting well just let's have a chat either in the live chat if you're here for the premiere or in the comment section below i try to get to reading and like replying to all comments i get um if i miss you by any chance it's not intentional i'm yeah just not quite with it all of the time at the moment This is so nice. And I'm just going to dab that on the outer area of my lid. Oh, I'm really liking this. This is just what I need. What I need. Yeah, what I need. So this week has also been a little bit sad too because um, one of our snakes, I think, I'm pretty sure I mentioned most of her clutch of eggs was uh, not viable and there was one single egg that was doing well. Um, it didn't do well, actually we lost that baby, the egg started going bad. And it was more than likely because, you know, they tend to go bad for a reason and the rest of the clutch wasn't great. So it was kind of a long shot, really. But yeah, it's still sad. Still really sad because uh, our Zuri, she went through, obviously, all the time of developing these eggs, like, inside of her and then the effort of laying them all and it kind of feels like it was all for nothing and I do really feel sorry for her I doubt she really thinks like that but I do as a mum and I know I am anthropomorphizing um, um, I can never remember how you say that basically putting human emotions on an animal um i know i'm doing that but i still like to think i like to think they have some understanding let me stop just going out this i think that blend is absolutely fine steph being a perfectionist All right, I'm gonna go back in with the original color leaf with the bigger fluffier brush and I'm just going to kind of blow that out a bit more yeah this is definitely better <laughs> please excuse poppy she's getting comfortable <laughs> oh, 
That's all. <laughs> Sucks getting old, eh, Pop? Yeah, this palette is just beautiful. Well, I have this one, the Book of Magic, and Sunset Horizons, and all three are amazing. They are such good quality. I say good, they're great quality. I like this. And then back in with some eucalyptus because I just can't leave it alone. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I'm gonna get the shimmers on. We're gonna get the shimmers on first. Yeah. I am right. I am going to going to go in with the NYX glitter primer, um, just because I love using it and it helps make shadows pop more and last longer. So let's get some of you on. So how many of you picked this palette up? And uh, if you did, what do you think of it? The, I have loved playing with that. Um, but I know everyone has their own preferences, so not everybody will get on with the same formulas, which is absolutely fine. Uh, so what works for the same me might not always work for you and the other way around but i've not heard anything negative about this palette so far from the people that i have heard talking about it all right let's find a brush Okay, so for the outer part of my lid, I am going in with Moss. I absolutely adore these shimmers. These shimmers are the bomb. So amazing. They are a little harder to pick up on the brush because they are quite squidgy. They're more like putty, but they do pick up on the brush. And they are beautiful. Look at that. Like real metallic. Beautiful. I'm going to want to go in with a deepening shade on the outer V there. That is absolutely fine. I love these are just like, just like putty. I don't know if you can see. And over there, you can squidge it. Which my childish mind it makes my inner child happy that's probably a nice way of putting that my inner child yeah i love this Just take a look at that. Absolutely stunning. And then let's find a brush for the inner part of my... Where is that one? Have I put it in here? Yes, I put it in the wrong thing. That's why I couldn't find it. Right, so for the inner part of my lid... Let me move that back so I can check on the focus. For the inner part of my lid, I am going in with lime oh god i love these so much uh, 
and then oh I didn't say what brushes I used I said the Morphe one I said that one um it's just a Morphe kind of flat rounded brush is for the outer and a Spectrum A16 is what I am using for the inner part really feeling the green vibe today and these greens really are beautiful i love the tones of green that they've popped in there they're just so dreamy I think they did such an amazing job with this colour story in particular. I mean, and the Beauty Bay Book of Magic, they should never have made that limited edition. That should be part of their regular lineup, I think, because it is so beautiful. The quality is amazing. And the amount of people that missed out on the chance to to get that. I know Beauty Bay themselves won't listen, <laughs> won't be watching my channel to listen, but if you have an influence, tell them they really need to they really need to make it part of their their permanent collection. See, as much as I love my Sunset Horizons palette, I would choose, I would have chosen to keep on the Book of Magic over the Horizon, Sunset Horizons palette. But that's just me. This is so pretty. Beautiful. Hmm, I need to do anything else yet. Absolutely stunning, right. So for the outer area, let me find one of my Diddy brushes because I now have two. So this brush is from Cosmic Brushes, which is a UK indie brand. Um, doesn't have a name on, but look at this. I love it. Um, yeah, this one is a good dupe for the Made by Mitchell, there it is, ME2. So if you like that, you'll like this. Right, so I am going to dip into IV, which is this really deep green. And I'm going to take that right on that outer part of my lid and just tap it kind of over the join into that shimmer slightly. just dragging it just over the first part there so it create a bit more dimension I'm just tapping it in so that it kind of blends well with the outer shades okay right I'm gonna nip off get another bottle of water and clean up my face and then I will come back to continue so just stay where you are 
Okay, so I have cleaned up the small amount of fallout that was there and I'm just going to go in and do face now. So I have the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I'm still not 100% sure what I think of this. I think just because it's quite sticky to use. I f almost feel like I'm like, I don't know, putting on like a sugar paste or something. But, never mind. It will be fine, I'm sure. I th I'm pretty sure it does work really nicely. I'm just always put off by the, the stickiness. But, we are going with it today. I don't even know why, I just felt like it, I think. But yeah. What else have I got to tell you? Oh, if you might have noticed, I got my daughter to help me dye my hair. So I've gone back to blue black, which I much prefer. I feel more confident, more me with darker hair. Or I used to love my, I used to have like really bright blonde hair and then I went pink and oh, I loved all that. But my hair did not love all of that and broke off. And I ended up with very short hair for what felt like forever. It took over a year for my hair to look girly again. I'd be walking down the road and I'd say to my daughter, walk behind me, do I look like a boy from behind? <laughs> I didn't like it on me at all. So yes. I won't ever be chopping my hair short by choice. Right, let's get rid of sticky fingers. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely the, the one downside to me for that primer is just that it's just so sticky, like really sticky. Right, so foundation. For foundation, I'm going in with the ABH Luminous Foundation. I have it in the shade 220N. I have this because of the wonderful Nikki Raven who sent this to me. If you don't know who she is, then I don't know why you wouldn't know who she is, but I will link her channel in the description box below so you can check that out. And if you don't know who she is, you really need to go check her out. All right. A flying fluff. All right, let's give it a brush. So yeah, where I've been in so much, did I press play? Yeah, <laughs> so much pain this week. I've been trying to kind of distract myself from it as much as possible and I have been playing this uh, Spot the Differences game on my phone and just to give you a bit of insight into just how much I've needed to distract myself from the pain I am on level 800 and something <laughs> so yeah I've been watching watching playing that game so much like last night um i didn't get much sleep at all i was up a lot in the night in pain so i was sat playing the spot the difference game yeah <laughs> i think kind of easy going games really help because you've got to concentrate but it doesn't require a lot of thinking if that makes sense you've obviously got to you know, try and find the things within a time but you just it's not like you lose lives you just get to try over and over again so that's my idea of a good distracting game
I used to play Candy Crush, but I found that that I used to get so annoyed with. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, that wasn't really distracting at all. This foundation is just beautiful. I don't know how... How? I have no idea where I was going with that. I'm so grateful to Nikki for sending this to me because it's not one that I would have thought to go out and buy. I don't know why, but it's not one that I had... Well, had I? I don't think it's one that I'd considered. But anyways, regardless, I'm so grateful that she did send it to me because it's like the perfect shade and one of the best foundations I have for making my skin look good. I do love this a lot. Another favourite is the Urban Decay Stay Naked and the She Glam one. I have quite a few favourite foundations actually. This is really up there for just a real fresh skin-like looking face. But yeah, I love it. I love it a lot. Right, to conceal around my face, I'm using the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. I have it in the shade 021 Beige. This goes with the foundation shade Perfect. Again, my skin's not too bad. That Glow Getter Oil from Byrox has just worked wonders on my skin. I probably don't even need as much as I'm putting on, to be fair, but I really want to feel, I don't know, just as confident as possible today. I need to be sat on the sofa feeling good about one thing. So, if my face looks pretty, that's going to be my one thing. <laughs> yeah, this uh, concealer is a really nice one. I'm not a fan of it for under the eyes. Um, if you've got really young skin, then it will probably be just as amazing under your eyes as on your skin. But if you have older skin, more mature skin, like me, um, I find it really does settle into those fine lines. And my eyes look even older. And I don't like that. Not at all. All right. So let's take that off my hand. For, should I do that first? Yeah. For under my eyes. Right, what am I doing? I'm using, let's use that. I didn't say the brush I was using. I'm. So this is the Real Techniques foundation brush. That's all it says on it. I really love it. And for under my eyes, I'm using the She Glam Versatile Flawless Concealer. I have it in the shade Tahiti. I love this. I really, really love it. It is so beautiful and it doesn't crease up onto the eyes. For me, it's just the cheaper alternative to the Madage Beauty Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer, which is one of my absolute favorites. And yeah, I think I use both of them kind of equally. I do like the Too Faced Born This Way, the multi Sculpting Concealer. I do like that for under the eyes as well. That one's not too bad as long as I don't overset it that one works really well um but 
both this one and the Madage Beauty concealers are just amazing under the eyes. So, yeah. <laughs> Again, if you have much younger skin, then I don't think it's really going to matter as much. <laughs> but I don't remember. It feels like a lifetime ago that I had nice young skin <laughs> uh, never mind I'll retap that in in a moment uh, I'm doing face face products I'm doing cream products today wow I, I honestly I have no words I'm sorry <laughs> so I am going to cream contour with the so Sue cream contour stick and I have the shade cool I love this I have used used it a lot a lot a lot so yes as you may have noticed or not depending I don't know um I collabed with my beautiful and talented friend Anki um, this week. Uh, the first video is a two-parter and the first video went up yesterday as you are watching this and it's just oh, I love my collabs with Anki. They're always so much fun and I think because we choose the theme for each other it just makes it all the more fun and i am so excited because obviously as i'm filming this um the videos haven't gone up yet so i haven't seen anki's palette but i can't wait i know it's going to be amazing because she is the queen of your build your own palettes so yeah that is kind of happening this week which is just awesome and there are talks it's in the works of another very exciting collab coming up soon i am not going to mention names or anything as yet because we are currently just in talks and don't have a date but I will tell you it's a three-way collab so there are two other creators but I'm super excited super excited now this cream contour stick really is a good one and do I want to take, yeah, I'm just going to take a, did I even see what that one was? No, this was a Real Techniques 200 Expert Face Brush. And now I'm going in with a Spectrum CO6 just to contour my nose. Mm. Yeah, this contour stick is beautiful I like it she does do there's the two shades there is warm and cool I believe she has actually brought out is it a freckle pen and Part of me is intrigued, but the other part is like, I have freckles and I do everything I can to cover them up. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I haven't done faux freckles on myself before, so yeah. I'm umming and ahhing. I might do at some point. But I am currently on a no buy, which I broke slightly, but that's okay. 
back on a no buy again. So, poor pig, stop groaning. Um, the cream blush I'm going in with is from Metamorphosis. It is their Blushing Bubbles liquid blush i have it in the shade emotion <laughs> oh dear i think you're just gonna have to <laughs> put up with poppy's uh groaning um i love this cream blush it is amazing as a brand i in general i love metamorphosis was an undercover police van. I've never seen one of them before. Um, mind you, they're not very undercover once they start with the siren. Anyways, um, what was that? Metamorphosis. I I love what I have tried from Metamorphosis, and I think it's such an interesting brand. The packaging, like the thought that's gone into all of it. It's just, I find it a very exciting brand and I always have my eye on it. I have the Lily Croaks palette, which I adore. And obviously this cream blush, I have a couple of single shadows and yeah, I love it all, all of that. Um, so let's get this off. Okay, let's... I'm just going to, I'm going to go in with the HNB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. I have it in the shade 02 Translucent. So I'm just going to quickly tap under my eyes to make sure there is no creasing that's formed while it, before it dried down some. I don't know. I'm just making sure there's no creasing. <laughs> I set it and then I am just going in with a made by Mitchell MF2 brush um, to oh this concealer brush is from she glam it's brilliant I love it and the I used a spectrum co6 to contour my nose and then a real techniques buffing brush by Sam and Nick I think it says for the cream blush and just taking a tiny bit I love this powder I've completely and utterly fallen in love with that I had heard or read good like reviews about it but it is so good and it really you can probably see it just blurs everything so when it says soft focus it's like yep Yes, girl, that is exactly what I am seeing. So I'm just going around my T-zone where I get oily with the smaller brush. Hopefully Poppy will get comfy soon and stop groaning. Dearie me. If any of you have an old dog, do they groan all the time too? Because <laughs> she never did this when she was like younger. It's just been <laughs> since <laughs> the last few months. Oh, I took a bit too much there. Dab it all around there so we spread it out. Yeah, this really does blur. Again, too much stuff. And I found it doesn't matter if you go a little bit overboard with this because it's very forgiving. I don't. I don't end up looking cakey if I go a bit overboard with this which suits me down to the ground because 
I find it really difficult. I don't know why I find it so difficult not to go overboard with powders, but yeah, I tend to get overboard with most things. I'm kind of an all or nothing person. This one does smell nice as well. Not... Mm. Very, very faint smell. Very faint. But nice. I don't even know what scent it is. It's just a... Just a really nice kind of spa-like smell. So yeah. That is the HNB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. It doesn't dry your skin out in the slightest. It's such a beautiful powder. Right, let's go with finishing the eyes. I'm just going to take a, have I said everything? No. The brush I used for the powder is a Real Techniques 300, this one. I love it and then I'm going to take a Pract pencil brush from Sigma and I am going to go first into Ivy which is the deepest of the greens and I am going to be careful now that I have my base done And just taking that up against the lash line and connecting it to main focus I don't know connecting it to the upper lid there this palette in combination with the Book of Magic palette, I think, would be amazing. But as a standalone palette, this is beautiful. And it's only £15, which I think is a steal for something of this quality. I do have the big, the larger Beauty Bay Bright Mats palette now. Um, it was on a really good sale and it was like, you could it for like £11 or something. It was like ridiculously cheap. Because it's usually I think £23. So it was like half price. And oh, I'm so happy to have it. I haven't actually used it as yet. But I already know the quality is going to be good because I do have the 16 one which I think is going to be made pretty redundant now and I'm pretty sure I'm going to more than likely declutter the 16 one but we'll see we'll see so I'm not sure if any of the colours are, are different at all so let's take a a little fluffy brush. I'll take you. Mm. That you. You'll do. Hmm. I am going to. Am I? Hmm. Yeah. I am going to go in with marigold. And I'm going to go in on a Peaches and Cream PC22 brush. Uh, Peaches and Cream is a UK indie brand. And I have a couple of their pigments. I have their pigment drops. I'm going to use that to blend out the lower lash line a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think all of these palettes, I didn't, however, get on with the Nikki Tutorials one, which I was really sad about because I was so desperate to love it. But I just, I can't, I couldn't get on with it at all. So I did give that to my daughter and she does love it. But then she has much younger skin, much younger eyes. So yeah, I'm guessing it was a skin thing rather than a formula thing. Unfortunately for me, because yeah, I really wanted it, it to work and it just didn't. This brush is really nice. It's the only one I have from them, but I am tempted to pick up some more because I do really like this. The thing is, I don't need any more brushes. I have a lot of brushes. A lot. Hmm. Yeah, I love how that's looking. Do I want to pop a bit of... Hmm, yeah. Right, so I am going to take... Um, what one am I going with? I'm going to take Ray, and I'm going to pop that on the inner part of my lower lash line. Kind of press that on. This is beautiful. It's got a real green shift. It doesn't look like anything special in the pan. But when you put it on, look at that. It is so beautiful. And I love this kind of more putty formula. You don't get the same kind of fallout as you do when you've got the flaky ones. But obviously I still go in a bit more cautiously. Well, a bit more cautious. More cautiously than um, if I haven't got my base on. So I'm really wanting to, I don't know why, but take that lower oh well, I like that a lot I'm probably going to actually take that oh, why is my brush digging in it no don't do that it's putty I'm going to take that on my inner corner as well oh, this is so beautiful this is one of the standout shades in this palette definitely and then just take it into the shadows on the upper lid just a little bit yeah if you've been on the fence about getting this then I I highly recommend it. I believe this one's going to be a permanent edition. I really hope so. Because this is just absolutely stunning. This palette is just perfection. Yeah, I really wanted to bring that down. Look at that. And just the tiniest dip into it to pop it up here. Yeah, this is just beautiful. So beautiful. Look at that. 
I say the tiniest little bit, but then put more on. Again, all or nothing. <laughs> overboard. Speaking of overboard, have any of you watched that film? Oh, that was one of my favourites growing up. Goldie Horn is just one of my favourite actresses ever. And her daughter, um, I can't think of her name. Hmm. I can't think of her name, but her daughter I also love. I think she's brilliant. She definitely takes after her parents. 100%. Yeah, Goldie Horn is just, she is a legend. And one of my favourite films with her in is Death Becomes Her. And it's the always that line that you pushed me down the stairs. And oh, it's also with Meryl Streep. Another amazing, amazing actress. Oh, right. Steph, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm just going to quickly take the brush, the very first brush. I haven't put anything on it. And I'm just going to go around the edges at the top. So there is no kind of line going on. Am I happy with that? I think so. Let's take a closer look. Mm. Let's... I'm just going back in with that deepest shade ever so slightly. I haven't put any on the brush actually. I'm just going in with whatever's already on the brush. Hmm. So for mascara, I'm going to go with the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I'm really trying to love this, but I'm still not convinced. But we shall see. Now that it's been kind of sat there a bit, I'm hoping that it will make a difference. Hmm. I've just heard so many people raving about how amazing this mascara is. But I'm just not quite, I'm not quite getting the hype. I will be putting on false lashes. Okay, this is better than past attempts. Maybe it's just one of them that you really need to just leave to sit or after you've used it a few times a couple of weeks in it's better I don't know but that was better than I remember it being that I will say okay so the lashes I'm going to be using are from Artitude Cosmetics they're in the style baddie I I love these lashes and I will be using the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude two-in-one line, liner and lash adhesive, the black one. I don't know why talking is so difficult for me. But yeah, I love this. I know that a lot of you might be thinking, oh, she's saying that she loves these things because she's a brand ambassador. But no, I became a brand ambassador because I love all of Artitude Cosmetics products. I have been following Artitude Cosmetics and using her products for 
just a long time now and any of you that are not new will know just how much I love the products from Artitude Cosmetics. I have been raving about them for so long. So being a brand ambassador for a brand that I love so much is just gold, absolute gold. So give her a shake. This is a brand new one because I, I did buy this for my own money, but this is a new one. This was my backup, but it is now in with my makeup because my other one ran out. I used it that much. So I don't use this over water activated liners I do then use the glue but it's not that I don't think it would work I just wouldn't want to ruin this so I do the line and then I just go back in and just make sure Yep. enough of the product is there for the lash to stick to. Oh, didn't close that properly. And then, let's get a couple of pairs of these things. And then I take the lash. I'm no good with my hands doing this. And I just stick it on. Just like that. That easy. I, I love this liner. Obviously the thinner you make the liner the uh, easier it is to get it right up against the lash line. I always do it too thick, but even with doing it too thick, as you can see, this is like super easy. Super, super easy. Okay, so. Liner and lashes on. For my waterline, I am going in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Crybaby. I just think this is going to just really go perfectly. I love this. Perfect. And then back in with the Lash Freak Mascara for my lower lash line. I'm just using the little brush bit on the end. How do I still manage to get Flex of mascara on me instead of lashes with such a tiny little brush. And then the same on the other side. I will say this is better for getting all the hairs, hairs, lashes on the lower lash line. 
the wings that is that done i do need to where's a little where's my little okay so i'm just going to move away these tiny little splashes of mascara and that's it so I'm going to kind of contour bronze with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. I love this so much. Uh, let's take you. <laughs> and I'm just taking a Luxie 022 tapered highlighter. It's too big for a highlighter for me. But it's perfect for contour stroke bronzing. If you want more accurate, more precise placement. And I love how buildable this formula is. Because, uh, <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> because you don't overdo it straight away. I, I love with these kind of products to be able to build up to the intensity I want rather than just go bam all in and then you're stuck with that lips are drying out all right my lips are drying out i'm going to go back in with my Too faced lip injection extreme instant and long-term plumper which i'm not convinced is doing anything apart from burn but i'm sticking with it Right, the burn is real. Okay, so the tops. I love this little brush, this Luxie brush. So cute. It's like really soft and yeah, I rate it. Shape the jaw, get rid of the double chin. I always find that amusing. Yeah, this is just perfect. This Nabla skin bronzing. I do highly, highly recommend these. Um, obviously, if you're a different skin tone, etc., to me, they do have other shades, but this one is like my perfect shade. So when I'm when I don't have any suntan at all, I go in a bit lighter. When I have more of a tan, I just build it up more, and it's perfect. Well, I think so. I think it's perfect. Right, so for blush, get a bl blusher a brush. The blush I'm going in with is the She Glam Lightweight Matte Blush in the shade Tangerine. And, <laughs> and she looks like this. I love this. It's kind of ombre, I just dab in the middle. It's such a pretty colour. And then with just the tiny bit that's left, I just kind of dab over. Look at that. It's such a lovely colour. And a really nice formula. I've been raving a lot recently about She Glam makeup products because they're just really, really good. Really, really good. Right, the highlighter I have is actually a new one to me. So this is from Josh Cosmetics, which is a UK indie brand. And this is a pressed highlighter in the shade Luna. Josh Cosmetics is a new to me brand. And 
I love this little compact because you've got this little bit to press and it pops up. Just kind of makes it easier, I think. So let's see. Hair off that. Let's see what it does. Ooh. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Okay. I would say if you don't like a blinding highlight, this probably isn't going to be for you. Because this one in particular is very, very blinding. Wow. Okay. Note to self, use a tiny amount next time, Steph. Wow, okay. Okay, right. That is very, very pigmented. Very, very blinding. I'm not mad at it. This is a very me highlighter. And this is one that I think Anki would love because it is it's definitely a see you from space highlighter i'm just trying to blend it in with the blush just a little bit so there's not such a harsh line between the two. Ooh, i'm loving that so this is josh cosmetics and the shade luna nice really really loving that okay lips i am i'm thinking i am going to go with like a dirty brown so <laughs> i'm gonna go with the lime crime matte velveteens this is in the shade trouble and hope for the best i think this is gonna go but we shall see i've not actually worn this one yet Yeah. I was put off trying this just because I'm not a brown lover but this this is like swamp colour swamp greeny brown I love this I absolutely love it okay that was successful I've had so much fun it, this has been the best therapy for me this week and for all of you guys that come along to the premiere chat with me in the live chat thank you so so much because at times when the pain is so bad those those things mean the absolute world being able to chat with you guys it's just it makes me feel really good not just the filming the makeup but going into the live chat chatting with you it's wonderful absolutely wonderful so thank you so much and yeah i'm gonna stop rambling and yeah if you <laughs> and if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up because that really helps me out um Obviously, Calm Chameleon is every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. I also do do product reviews. Um, usually, there's a new releases and sneak peeks. However, I think I explained earlier in the video. I will get back to it. Um, yeah. What else do I do? Just makeup, colourful makeup. I support indie brands as much as I possibly can, provided they are cruelty free. And yeah, I just like to have fun with colourful makeup. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in too, then please hit the subscribe button. And if you press the notification bell, then YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. So 
thank you so so much to all of you in the live chat and all of you watching at a later time thank you so much for for joining me and i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye